Florida's Education Commissioner also talked about the lower risk for younger age groups when he laid out plans for reopening schools in the fall. The governor believes schools will be able to reopen at full capacity. But not all educators are on board with the governor's plans for the next school year. New 6's Lauren Cervantes spoke with Orange County's Teachers Union today about the issue. She joins us live. And Lauren, how do those teachers feel about a return to the classroom? The president of Orange County's teachers union says teachers have a number of concerns and she tells me they aren't ready to go back into the classrooms. Like schools aren't prepared right now to start in August. They're absolutely not prepared right now. Wendy Dormal is the president of the Orange County Classroom Teachers Association, representing over 14,000 teachers. She says the majority of those teachers do not feel safe returning to their classrooms. So we have teachers that say they will quit before they go back to school in August. They just don't feel safe. She adds teachers have a number of concerns, including how social distancing can be done in classrooms or on buses. Ask, are they going to restrict parents from going in all the time? Um, how are they going to screen? What happens if someone becomes sick during the day? We District sent surveys to parents to get their input on a return of face-to-face -face learning. Some of the districts say they are still gathering input. But Orange County Schools, Seminole County, and Osceola County School surveys show the majority of their district parents said they did want in-person learning. And for Lake County Schools, the district says what they've received so far shows a majority in favor of returning to brick-and-mortar school buildings, to which Dormal says all of the teachers want to go back to school eventually, but they want to do it when it's safe. And she says she doesn't think that'll happen in August. What the governor put out our guidelines, districts really make the ultimate decision on whether they're going to return to school or not. We don't have a plan and the clock is ticking. Dormal tells me on June 22nd, they will be bargaining with the district. In Orlando, I'm Lauren Cervantes getting results news six.